Okay, so in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about the pen tool. Um, I've got this set up at about 500 pixels by 500 pixels at about 100 resolution. Um, and the file color profile is Adobe RGB 1998. And uh, what we start off with is the pen tool, which is a P. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a shape, which is very easy to do. I get a lot of questions. How do you do those swirls? How do you do this? So what you do is use the pen tool, and this could be done in either Photoshop or it could be done in Illustrator. So depending on your preference, it can be both. Um, Illustrator is a little bit more easier and uh, easier to fluctuate because of the vector file versus Photoshop. It keeps at a pixel type of ratio. I am in CS2, so I'm not aware if there's any changes or upgrades to that in uh, CS3 quite yet. I haven't made that uh, <laughs> the verge of uh, changing. So what we did is I just created the path, which is right here. And it's kind of like connect the dots, um, except you're connecting different points. And the points can be changed and shifted. As you see, anytime I go over, it's either highlighting or giving a minus sign. Or if I go over the certain li uh, linear points, it gives me a plus sign, which means I could add an anchor point, which is this guy right here. And these are little handles that if you press um, the option key, you can kind of play with it, bring it up higher, bring it up lower. So depending on to your taste, oops, sorry. So depending on to your taste on what you're looking for and what you're trying to create, you can kind of play with it. So I suggest kind of creating a file like this and kind of just playing with it a little bit um, to create another anchor point. Like I said, just do that. And then once again, we can mess around with it, get a little bit more swirly action going on. So it's all to your taste and what you prefer. Um, so what we're doing now is we're going to stroke the path. And when you do this pen tool uh, option, make sure right here at the top, you have it right in the middle where it's just showing the different paths. It's not actually filling in and showing the certain shape you created. Um, so what we're going to do is, let me see, let me get it back to what I liked up that one. We're going to fill in stroke in the path and then we're going to create a new layer and we're going to title it uh, swirl number one and we're gonna stroke the path and you want to check simile uh, pressure uh, if you want a certain kind of feel to it and that can be found over here let me put it in the B mode and that's exactly what it created and if you want to go thicker with it we'll do that too let's do swirl two and once again, brush pressure. I'm going to bring it up maybe about 21. Uh, maybe a little bit larger. Okay. And we're going to bring the opacity down so you can see kind of exactly what it happens. And okay, it's going to give me that feel. So once again, press P and stroke the path. Ooh. <laughs> and so you get kind of like a brush grainy kind of effect to it. A nice little shadowing done. So then what you do is press V and this way you can uh, kind of play with your image there um, for the path. So you can make it larger or smaller. You can, you know, twirl it around with whichever uh, you aim it for again. And so now, as you can see, I'm aligning it up right about there. And we're going to call that one the baby swirl. Small swirl. And stroke the path again. Oh, I'm going to make it smaller now. So it's not that large. Got to go back in B mode. I'm all over the place today. <laughs> and we're going to make it about nine. Okay. And then again. Now we stroke it. Boom. And one more time. Okay. And then you can also play with it. Um, watch. Let's see. We're going to get whoop, wrong one. We want to get the other guy. There we go. 
Now watch. I'm going to get a little bit bigger, okay? And then this is sometimes where the fun comes in. You click, uh, click brushes, B. And then you can kind of play with your um, brush here. What I want to do is jitter the size. And I'm going to go to spacing it out. So what it does, it kind of gives me a little line filling um, space between different brush points. And move the opacity to 100. And then again, select that one, and boom. You've got the different lines. So you can kind of see. I'll have to delete that. You know, let's delete the path. And there we go. And we've got the different little avenues, and that's just the start. So you can get complicated with it. Um, sometimes, depending on the project, if it's just for web, I'd... I pretty much just duplicate the layers, merge them together, and then, you know, kind of just start building to my fantasy desire. Let me get small right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna do it again. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay, like do about right there. Okay, and then again, and then there's so many ways you can just, you know, play with it, with all the different grading effects you can do, and different filters, so, kind of depends on what you're taking, what your feel is, so, and then you just rename the files, and, I mean, pretty much up to you what you decide to do with the file and how much you want to go with it and then I could just merge that into a single object and that's just one whole swirl and I could duplicate that guy and just take them and come over here and just do a horizontal and look at that Ooh, it's even more interesting oh look at that yeah so <laughs> you can pretty much get as creative as you want with it so it's up to your uh, liking you know me I love the whole um, duplication process of it so, I'm always into merging and making things uh, go and repeat themselves and this can just keep going on and on and on and on and I can make a little flower now look at the pretty flower okay Ooh. So there we go. That's my little tutorial on brushes. Hopefully you liked it and enjoyed it. More to come. And this is Pashi. Talk to you guys later. Thank you for all the love and support. Uh, do check us out. ParishLewis.com